Okay, we'll talk a little bit here about efficient dig digitizing and snapping. Now remember, snapping is making the features somewhat magnetic. So when I'm adding new coordinates, if I'm within the snapping distance, the coordinates get pulled to an existing feature if I set up the snapping in that way. Now there's two kinds of snapping you can set up in ARC. One is just the standard snapping, which you can turn on here whether you're going to use it or not, but I prefer and most people prefer to use classic snapping. So if the editor is turned on, you can go down to the options here and set classic snapping. So you click it there and you apply it and now it's set. Now you have to be careful because it's confusing. They give you two places to set options. So one is here off snapping and one is the bottom in the general options and you got to use this general options one first otherwise you won't be using classic snapping and you won't have the control. So once we've done that then we can go into the options and set our snapping tolerance our map units. So here it's 1.5 map units rather than pixels and pixels they use the screen resolution and so we can set it in a real world unit in this case 1.5 meters. Now if I don't do it that way, if I go and don't have classing snap, classic snapping turned on, which is the default at the start, and I go down in here into the snapping, the options toolbar is different, and when I click on it, it looks different, and I can only select pixels. So they get stuck here. Later on, you might get confused. All I want you to know is for now, if you see this and there's no option for meters, for uh, the feature units, you got to go to editor and set the main options to classic snapping. Do that first. And then you can say OK. And you can set the units. Right? Snapping units here. I'm sorry, the snapping distance in the map units. I'm going to set it to 2 in this case. Now once I've set up my snapping environment and that I'm going to use classic snapping, I can start editing and select the feature I'm going to edit. And then I can go ahead and set my snapping window options to say what's going to snap to what. So here I want to snap to the vertices or to edges or to other ends for the different features. Now here I'm going to turn them all on because I'm going to be doing some digitizing where I'm going to be by snapping to a boundary in one layer while trying to cut another layer. So I want everybody to participate. And so I can do that again through this editor snapping window. Now, sometimes it's confusing because when I'm going to set this stuff up, I might not be editing. And then you'll go here and you'll click and you'll see in the snapping that the window's not available. And you wonder, what in the heck? Why can't I do that? I know I changed it once before. Well, these tools become available or unavailable depending upon the state you're in. In this case, you have to be editing a feature before you can set the snapping for that feature. So once snapping is set, then I can use it to digitize along existing lines. And that way, when I'm digitizing, things can match. So for example, I'll make sure that the editor is turned on and that I have in my editing tools here the right layer selected as my target. I might want to edit on the lakes layer. And so if I zoom in, right, anything that I want to match an existing layer, if I'm within that snap tolerance, it will be kind of a snick, sticky connection. So here I have a feature I might want to add. I want to, let's say, expand the boundary here because I digitized an air in the lake. Well, you can see as I get close to the edge, it pulls over within that two meters. And so that separation distance gets spanned. That snapping distance is basically less than the distance I'm interested in. So I could add new features starting at the existing lake boundary. And then where they're further away, I go ahead and um, digitize along, but when I come to match the edge, it snaps it to the edge. If I wanted to digitize an upland layer and have that upland layer exactly match this wetlands or lakes boundary, I could digitize along the lakes boundary and then digitize the upland polygon. There are other tricks we'll use, but snapping is really important for creating good data and will have you verify your data through your topology in this lab, so you have to use snapping correctly or you'll spend a lot of time fixing your topological errors.